Hey, uh, you cool if I sit here? I'm in some trouble. Why? Why? Well, uh, I stole the president's ring. It's worth four trillion dollars. And, uh, it's all mine. That is, you know, unless he catches me. Who? His name's Detective Carl. He's the best in the biz. His one passion in life is to catch bad guys. Bad guys like me. Not you, though, huh? No, he's not going to catch me. I'll be on a plane halfway to Tijuana by the time he catches up. Ruh, ruh, ruh. Sorry, what was that? I said your flight's been canceled. Detective Carl, nice to meet you. Oh, no. I knew you were the best. The name is Detective Carl. I'm a lone wolf, a man on a mission, or my captain might call a loose cannon. I only love three things, solving mysteries, fighting crime, and of course a lukewarm hot dog covered in ketchup and sweet relish. There's a lot of strange stuff happening out there, and it's my job to figure it all out, and I won't sleep until I do. But for now, I need to go see the captain. Morning, Beardface. That's Captain Beardface to you. So, you got the President's ring? Does a koala bear have fingerprints? Um, I have no idea. Of course they do. When are you gonna give me a real challenge? Be careful what you wish for. Here. What is this? Local college kid, Andrew Applebottom. <laughs> Bottom. Detective, please. Sorry, so, missing? It looks like it. His friends are really worried. So why me? I only deal with the most complex of mysteries. Oh, that's the thing. His friend said he just... Just what? Vanished. No one has seen him in a week. I'm gonna be honest with you, Detective. This one's a weird one. I don't know, Captain. Seems like someone else could be doing this. Well, it's either that or garbage duty. I'll take the case. Oh, and by the way, Carl? Yeah, Cap? They found this in Andrew's car. Huh. A clue. Oh, Cap, this is for you. What is this? It's my gum wrapper. <laughs> Bye, beer face. Here we are, the home of Andrew Applebottom. Nice house, nice neighborhood. Makes me ask two questions, though. Where did Andrew go? And why am I so hungry? Oh, you're here? Now listen. The dog doesn't bite, but he does like to hug you aggressively with his teeth sometimes. And you have to feed him every hour or he'll eat the couch again. Um, and if you're worried about his barking, he'll stop eventually once he falls asleep. Good luck. I think there's a misunderstanding. Oh, yeah, right. And here's the keys to the house and the mop is in the kitchen closet. No, no, no. I I'm the detective. I'm looking for Andrew. Sorry, I'm just trying to find someone to watch his house and his dog. Do you have any leads? Nope. Like a turtle without a shell. I have nothing. Can I take a look inside his car? Oh, of course. How long have you known Andrew? Oh, we've grew up together since we were kids. It's all just so sad. When did he start jogging? Um, I don't know, like a month ago? How did you know he jogged? They socks. The stench is the smell of a morning runner. Too stinky to be an experienced jogger, but not clean enough for normal wear. Wow, you're really good. Y'all went out for fast food last weekend in this car. Four cheeseburgers, four small fries, and four sodas. Sorry, three sodas, one milkshake, and it was chocolate. How, how did you know that? The trash in the receipt are right here. Oh. Wait a minute. Looky here. What is it? Hmm, it's exactly what I was looking for. It says, to grow, I'll need to spend more time with... What, what does it mean, spend time with who? Well, let's see. Well, I guess we can close this case. Andrew's obviously spending time with his dog, but his dog is here. And in order to spend more time with his dog, he must... That's it, he's playing hide and seek. I solved the case. Wait, why'd you do that? God, I think he's saying to grow, he must spend more time with God. What makes you so sure? 
Because there's a Bible verse written right above it. Oh, yes, of course. Uh, I wonder what that means. One second. Yes, Carl? Captain, I need your help. What does Luke 8, 4 through 15 mean? Hmm, let me see. Looks like a Bible passage. It's a parable from Jesus about a farmer that plants seeds. Some seeds fell, and the birds ate them up. Some fell on rocks and died. And uh, some fell on thorns, got choked out. Other seeds fell on good soil and grew very strong. That's all I got, Carl. Got it. Thanks, Caps. So what do we do now? Well, what I thought was going to be an open and shut case is turning out to be a little more, hmm, mysterious. I'm going to follow these clues and I'm going to find Andrew. Or my name isn't Detective Carl Louise Beethoven Barncart. Wait, is that really your name? Hmm, on the case! <laughs>